Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a holiday beauty haul um, and I'll write a must-haves list in the description box below of everything that's included here. I'll try and find the links for you if I can for where you can find the products online. This isn't a sponsored video, it's just something that I think we need to know this summer. So let's get on with it. First, it's something that isn't actually beauty, but I think it's something that you definitely need for your travels. And it's a in our stars everywhere, and I really can't wait to see the movie. I haven't I've got that far, and a tissue is actually my bookmark because it made me cry that much. And I want to finish the book before I see it in the cinema, so I plan to read that on my way to where I'm going on holiday. Um, every girl wipes because if you're if you don't do my makeup you need them because they just make you feel so much better and um they cleanse your pores and it's brilliant i mean these are the best ones because you don't break out with them they have the right balance and there's no alcohol in them so these are my favorite these are amazing um which brings me to skincare i haven't tried this out yet so i might do a favorites video and see if it makes the cut so this is a face mask. It's a brightening peel mask and it evens dull, uneven skin tone. So we'll see if that makes the cut into my favourites video. Um, now I get told that I have good skin. I have bad skin days, I have good skin days like everybody. But the thing is, I have always used Clinique since I was about 12 I'd say, because my auntie has always used it. So I gave it a go, and I, I'll show you what I used before I used Clinique, I've tried this recently. I used this, L'Oreal Skin Perfect, um, see this exfoliates your skin, it's like an extra exfoliant instead of a toner, so I use my toner as well, I use this first. Um, see that, it's got a lovely like uh, citrusy smell to it and I don't usually like citrus but that is really really good and I like it. And then I use, I've had this for quite a while now so it's almost run out, I use Rinse Off Foaming Cleanse by Clinique, um, this is my normal routine every morning. Um, and you meant to do it at night as well but I find I don't need to, I just use a face wipe at night because um, I don't tend to wear makeup that often especially in the summer so then I use this and then I go on to my soap bar which is your in, in with the normal three step because the rinse off foam is an added bonus so it, that just completely takes you know any extra makeup that you may have still on your skin that the face soap hasn't got off so I would recommend doing this twice a day if you have sort of really stubborn skin um, you know, your three step. So, and then you do your toner, which is really easy. You know, you just get a cotton wool pad and then swipe it all the way across one way. It's like, it's like a little exfoliant, but it tightens up your pores after you've exposed them to the heat of the water. And then you use your anti-blemish solutions, which is the three step. But the soap bar is from a different three step. It explains it all when you go to Clinique and you have a proper little consultation. Um, anti blemish solutions, all over clearing treatment, and it's the moisturiser. I will put the links in the description box below. Um, yeah, and then Clinique Moisture Surge Intense. This is if your skin needs to be more hydrated because um, this moisturiser can only do so much and I would advise not to put it on your eyes and to put this on your eyes instead. And then if you want, um, in the summer I only use a BB cream and in general I only use a BB cream or powder. I don't like foundations, I think they sit too heavy on your skin. So this is really good just to add a little bit of extra glow when you wear a BB cream and I'm really glad that I got this. So coming to a BB cream, this is one that I've, this is my first one I've ever tried actually. Um, Dream Fresh BB by Maybelline. It's the 18 one and it literally does everything you want. It's even got an SPF in it 
and it does stay on for as long as you want obviously wipe it off at the end of the day um but it doesn't it's not got a greasy finish to it and it still has the glow so it's got the perfect balance in there i've gone for the light one because my i think i might go for a medium and get a new one because i do tan quite quickly and i got this a little while ago now but yeah i would recommend that uh so with um spf his boo in i say is, is one of the best you can get um yeah it speaks for itself um and a little lip uh lipstick sun balm with spf 30 um this isn't as hydrating as i hoped i mean it smells nice it smells really nice it's kind of like cocoa butter um which is probably the nicest thing about it and the fact that it's got a sun sun factor in it but the thing is it's not very hydrating if you want a hydrating lip balm then you well i don't think it's actually got any spf in it but i would say go for the baby lips by maybelline this one's my favorite i'm wearing it now actually and you can just put it on without even like um a mirror like a mirror um, when you go on holiday, I would say take a little hand mirror with you because you never know if there's going to be one. And you don't want to take anything big and bulky because you've never got the room and the weight to take it with you. Um, now, I invested in this. <laughs> I invested in this because I, I've got really untamable hair and it started to go really out of condition. Um, so. I found this in Boots and it's got keratin rich in it and I think it starts to make my hair a lot smoother and a lot thicker than it used to be. So if you can, this is by Remington, I would get a keratin enriched uh, paddle brush and also that's when your hair is dry. Uh, also let your hair dry naturally, that is a big tip and don't use heat onto your hair unless you really have to. Um, and also use heat protectant, that would be really good and if it's if you, it's got an SPF in it, you really need it for this time of year um, and even the winter can damage your hair and being inside can just any kind of dryness can you know, suck out that moisture um, in your hair um, I got this Tangle Teaser lovely um but this uh brush your hair with this when you come out of the shower and it gets all the knots out uh without actually pulling your hair out it's really gentle and lovely i recommend getting that up um what else oh so i kind of forgot that this was always my favorite brand and i think this has also helped my hair too aussie colour matte now i don't actually have any colour in my hair anymore so it doesn't make any sense that i've got that but i also don't well i do it's grown out i haven't coloured my hair in about two two years i think now um kind of looks like a really long ombre it's grown out a lot uh, so yeah the colour yeah i've got this one <laughs> I got this shampoo, the one with Australian Wild Peach uh, and the conditioner as well. I've also got some sprays which I do not have here, but it's just uh, like a frizzies one uh, by Aussie and a heat protectant as well, which I would recommend you getting if your hair, if your hair is greasy though, naturally it's more oily. I would recommend not using the serum very often or you'll find that you have to overwash it and if you overwash your hair then your natural oils in your scalp won't um, have chance to produce and that's unhealthy for your hair because it can't grow because you need the oils for it to grow um, okay so nail varnishes oh almost forgot this is also my favourite shower gel. It just smells beautiful and that's what you need in a shower gel. It's Radox Brazilian Fusion Dragon Fruit and I can't pronounce that. I'm going to say Camu Camu Berry. But it will be in the description box 
box below and you can use it as your shopping list for holiday. Um, now, I've got this new, I've never been a fan of liquid eyeliner, but this is a brilliant pen. It's literally like using a sharpie on your eyes. So you can see that. It's the Scandal Eyes by Rimmel. And, you know, it's really easy to use. You can just, yeah, it's so, so easy. Um, I also got this, but I think that I get the same effect from my BB cream and when I use my concealer first to just conceal whatever and then I put BB cream over uh, I think I get the same effect as what I would if I did this as a highlighter but yeah I bought this um, white highlighter pencil which is uh, to like Maybelline New York Expression Gentle Precision Eyeliner in number 35 white so I got that as well. I always think it's best to take more with you than wish that you've bought something with you that you did, don't have on you. Um, now I'm so glad that I got this. This is the Wake Me Up Anti-Fatigue Effect Plus Radiant Glow Concealer. And I got it in Soft Beige number 40. It's a really easy applicator and it blends so well. I also bought the uh, foundation to go with it, just to give foundation a go, but I did not like it, so that's not coming with me. Um, now, my brushes that I use are from this range. I've had them for a while, um, and they're pretty good. Um, apart from the fact that the handle broke off this one, and it's the only one that I have that really blends my concealer in, so, I make do, you know, if it does the job, don't, don't complain. Um, so I'm going to put all my brushes because that's going to take quite a bit of time, but I'll leave a link to the brushes because they're available from Amazon. And I'm really liking these uh, four colours from Maybelline. Uh, these are the Colour Show, two of them are the bleach neons actually. Uh, this one is in number 244 uh, which is the bleach neon and it's kind of like um yeah it's like a lime and a yellow kind of mixed together and then this is the pink uh what color is that i'm gonna say tro pink <laughs> 243 and then this is the in color that's in right now urban coral 114 i have a, a like top that's in this colour. I think I've done a video wearing this actually and wearing a lipstick a little bit similar and then in a separate one I was wearing this and a top that was the same. Um, and I'm, wear I'm wearing this right now but it's not really on but if you put two coats of it on it goes more shocking. Um, and then uh, 324 Love Lilac. I love lilac. So yeah, and yeah, this is the lipstick. This goes quite orangey, just like the nail varnish. It's that um, in between red and orange colour. Um, but this one actually, I prefer this. This is actually, I have no idea where you'd be able to get this from to be perfectly honest. This was my mum's lipstick and I just loved it. So it's now mine. <laughs> To, I don't know how it ends up being in my makeup drawer, to be perfectly honest. It's Lancome uh, 104 Lancome Orange Mystique. I'm going to see if I can try and find a link to that because it would be good when that runs out to try and find a new one. Um, it's a really nice colour. Uh, and um, this is just a little glitter nail varnish to go over if I fancied accenting one of my nails with the glitter. Um, it's just a fun nail varnish. Um, and then this is one of my favourite mascaras at the moment. Uh, the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara, which I have in I say black. I can't see the code number, so I have it in black. And I bought a couple 
couple of Maybelline products, or was it Rimmel? It was Rimmel, uh, when I went and got the BB cream. Um, so I actually got these free, so that's a bonus. This is coming quite handy because then I can use it as a little highlighter. Uh, this is clear complexion, natural minerals, um, plus a natural bronzer, which it, you'd think is quite heavy, but then if you just use it very, very, very lightly, then it's okay. Uh, see, when I'm on holiday, I actually use very, very minimal makeup, but if I'm going to be filming any videos on holiday, I say any videos, I'm actually vlogging our town holiday, um, then I'll probably want to put a little bit on if the lighting's rubbish. So most likely a BB cream and some mascara with concealer and I'm good to go. And that baby lips. So that's my how to do a natural look. Yeah. <laughs> um, here I have a Clinique um, Blushing Blush Powder in Iced Lotus. That's a nice name. Uh, which there, you can see it's kind of like got a shimmer to it. I don't know if you can see that, but it has. It's got a lovely little shimmer to it. So that's one of my favourite little blushes if I want to just put a little bit on. Um, and this is, this is rather old now, but it's really nice. The colours just go so well together. I always kind of get a bit scared when I have a massive palette of colours. I'm determined to get a NARS palette or a MAC palette, whichever. I know they're quite similar, aren't they? I'm not very clued up on NARS and MAC. I wonder if they're the same brand. Please someone let me know. Um, but yeah, um, I always get kind of dis like, like frightened when I have too many colours in front of me because I know if I just have like a few colours, even that one's disappeared now. Um, but if I have just a few colours in front of me, I don't get too frightened because I'm like, well at least a couple they'll match because they're in the same palette, you know. But yeah, I'm determined to get a big palette and be like, I know what goes, <laughs> I think. <laughs> and these are my, oh here we go, here's my eyebrow pencil. Um, I'm using at the moment the Maybelline eyebrow shaper uh, brow pencil, which is currently down to this far because I'm loving it that much. I'm using it most days. Uh, which and it's brilliant because it's got a little thingy on the end of it as well so you can just so it's so easy because you can just pop it in your bag like I've put in here you know um, gosh you can tell how old these palettes are because I get frightened that easily with big palettes uh, these are beautiful together these uh, the pink and the like the sandy gold the golden sand colour go with that. And one thing that you definitely don't want to forget is your beautiful perfume so you smell all lovely. Uh, my personal favourite is Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. And uh, I think that's it. I've probably forgotten things just like you always do when you go on holiday. What is your must have when you go on holiday? Do you always forget your passport when you get to the aeroplane? Because I know that I would. I. What am I going to forget this time? I hope I don't forget myself. <laughs> I hope they don't forget me. I'm going to be like home alone. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you think about this. And I will see you. I don't know what day I'm posting this up. I will see you Monday. Bye!